Hello! Magandang umaga, mga kababayan! It is Angina! Yo, what's up? It's me, Rockham Sakura. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Fashion Photo Review for Drag Race Philippines! Philippines! What's up, bro? What's up? <laughs> Your makeup looks really gorgeous today. Ah, thank you. You want to know why? Why? Because I use my very own Life is a Celebration palette on LorellaCosmetics.com. Seamless plug on China. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Very seamless. I really appreciate that. Are you excited for today's episode? Yes. You look pretty in pink. And you look pretty in pink. Is it because the runway is... Pink. Pop. Boom. Did I say it right? Pink. Pop. Boom! Or for everyone else, it's like pink. Yes, fierce boots. Yes. yes, pink, fierce. Speaking of pink, let's not see my butthole. <laughs> if they have a brown runway, then <laughs> I will bring it out. So the runway is pink, pack, boom. And uh -huh. I think pack is like, they use it a lot, in sort of like an exclamation. Almost like, yes, fierce, house uh -huh. down boots, I think. I haven't lived in the Philippines in so long, but that's what I assume it means. Mm -hmm. So this will really showcase a lot of people's taste level, fashion point of view, yeah. drag. So I'm just gonna look for the fashion element in all of those. I'm looking for something that is either really, really iconic in pink or something completely different that we haven't seen in pink. Let's pink pop boom. Category is pink pop boom. First up is Lady Morgana. Oh. oh. And a one-legged. Oh, it is pink in there. It is pink. It is real pink on this runway today. Girl, it is pink down boots, honey. It's pink pop boom. It's pink pop boom. Okay, so. What do you say? The minute that the headpiece came off, I kind of lost interest in the whole outfit. So I even love the hair. The hair. The hair. Ah, hair. She the likes hair. The makeup is flawless. Mm -hmm. The pink is really fun, but I kind of lost the dimension of the outfit. I definitely feel like it could have had a bit more shape to it. Yeah. I wish yeah. that the headpiece just stayed on. Like, why remove it? It's like probably the strongest aspect of your look. You know that triangular detail that's in the headpiece? Mm -hmm. What if that was like the fabric? Oh. You know, or like maybe like like a like a lining here or a lining there. It maybe. could have also been cool as like keeping that same shape as like a collar piece or a hip piece. Yeah, yeah. That one legged is not quite a legged. It stops at the calf and I need it to stop all the way down. But I like that she did this asymmetric moment, which I think is super cool. Uh -huh. Overall, I don't love it as much as I would like. But what I will say is when I see her next, I think I'm stealing the headpiece. Oh yeah, the headpiece is absolutely gorgeous on her. Don't take it off. I do wish that the side slit was a bit higher because the way that it cuts is a bit more like granny panty -y, Instead rather, of like sex. Yeah, instead of like sex, which if you're going for like a one-legged thing, you want to have sex. And plus it will all, right? plus it will like elongate your leg even. Yeah, longer. exactly. You want to give like that, that showgirls, show bill sort of silhouette if you're gonna oh, do one legged. Like the poster. Mm -hmm, exactly. Mm. Only certain parts are hitting, like the headpiece and her makeup is gorgeous, but the outfit itself is not it for me, so it's, I'm gonna give it a boot. This is the boot for us. Mm -hmm. Up next, we have Minty Fresh. Nice and billowy. This is so amazing. Oh, this is kind of K pop. Oh my God, the clips in the hair yes, is so sickening. So 90s. Oh, I love the way that this is draped on her body. And I love the way it moves. It's very couture. It's very Valentino pink. What I love about it is the volume, the way it moves, mm -hmm. the way it fits her. I love that you can't see skin really where the boot ends and the skirt ends. Oh yeah. Which I think gives me the illusion that it's like almost all one piece sort of. I love the 90s take on the hair with the clips and mm -hmm. I think that that's very beautiful. I feel like this is like world stage, definitely like pop star, mm -hmm. definitely like that vibe is what I'm getting. Okay. What about you? Um, I feel like this is like kind of like red carpet but also performance ready. It's very couture. It's visually interesting without having to be super 
like slick and sexy and pink. Like whatever is displayed, like her skin up top is really fun and intriguing. Thank you. And it's <laughs> oh, sorry, you're talking about minty. Got yes, it. minty. Okay, got just it. Got it. Got minty. It. And the clips in just minty's hair because she's wearing hair. <laughs> um, the clips in her hair are absolutely gorgeous. The way that it frames it, it's like another aspect of like drag and camp mm -hmm. to this look that I really appreciate a great choice in hair. Yeah, and I love that she brought the rosary from her mom and she brought a little piece of home with her, which oh. I think is really incredible. I love that it's one color, one fabric, from the gloves to the boots and it's accessorized very meticulously. It's just like the right amount of accessories mm -hmm. without it being overpowering. Also too, this is done in the same fabric, like the last outfit was done in the same fabric. But because of the ruching that's on this outfit, it gives it more dimension. Yeah. It gives it more dimension and interest in kind of like the texture of the outfit. So do you toot it or boot it? I toot it. Toot. Next up is a precious Paula Nicole. Oh. oh. The pink horse is here. Giddy up, giddy up, let's go. What do you think of this look? I love the camp in this. This is very camp. It's very like carousel, carnival, kind of like comes to your street sort of fair. She has a little beard. Oh, cute. Kind of gender. If they had made this with like a drag on the dime there, I would be really impressed. Mm -hmm. But there's certain elements of it that don't really read well to me. The sequins on the inside don't really work. And the cups on the boobs are also too like inverted downwards. Mm -hmm. But it does leave like an interesting shape. I kind of want to hate the sideburn makeup and the and the the goatee, but I don't. Yeah. I like the camp aspect of it. I love that it's like pores, it's like giddy up. I love the makeup also that it kind of like shapes like a mask. Mm -hmm. I think for me, it kind of translate that way. Okay. Some of the elements for me, like the tool or like the organza here is feeling a little bit weak. I agree that the bra is sort of like inverted in a way that looks a little bit discombobulated. Mm -hmm. well, the one thing that I would do is that this right here is such a good idea. If she took that and then added an even longer version of that fabric in two layers in the exact same color, so it drapes to her back. I think that if she added maybe like a pink saddle or stirrups to really add to the fact that it's a horse. Where's her tail? She tucked it. <laughs> <laughs> pink tuck boob. Um, yeah, if she added a tail, it would have added a, a like a bottom piece that would have read a little bit more horse. It's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm not in her head to know exactly what she's trying to portray, uh -huh. but I don't think it's quite strong enough for me to give it a toot. So I'm gonna give it a soft boot. I'm gonna give this one a soft boot as well. Up next, we have Miss Silhouette. Ooh, it's so pink in here. Okay, Miss Silhouette. Look at this negative space that she's using with her skin tone I right now. I love this. It's cut really cool. Yeah. I love that high, high slit. It's almost showing her peck peck. It's not a penis, it is a vagina. Yes. Um, I love the hair, how slick and down it is because it adds to the direction of the outfit. So the hair goes down and slicks, and then it also cuts down here in the boob. It's really, really chic. It looks like a fashion illustration. You talk a lot about negative space, and I love this little moment that's happening here. And the fact that it's going this way, and then the slit's going another way. I love that there's no accessory on the hands. It takes me to a, a high fashion, modern plays, mm -hmm. and I really appreciate it. The concept to me is ace. Yeah, the concept is very avant-garde and the execution is perfect. I wouldn't hate if there was a glove on, like a full glove that extended to the shoulder, especially if it was like maybe translucent or just a little bit see-through kind of pink. All of these like three-dimensional aspects that make the entire look, mm -hmm. like from the headpiece, which obviously I'm biased to, but it's really well made. Mm -hmm. And then like this side right here, I think it has some cutouts as well and it drapes beautifully. Mm -hmm. Like this is really well done. But I think that the look itself is really, 
really, really strong. This is a two. Yeah, this is a two for me. Two. Up next is Marina Summers. Ooh. Wait, I just got her name. Why? Marina, like in the Marina. Yeah. Summers, and her whole thing is ocean and fish. Yeah. <laughs> and we're on episode five. Okay. I'm glad you got it after she had the whole ocean thing on the last episode. Okay. All right. Sorry. Moving on. Cute. Oh, I love a head wrap. Okay. So, see, this is very much like nodding to a period, like a kind of like um, futuristic 1950s yeah. sort of view. I think the silhouette is really interesting, especially considering that the waist itself is very boxy and angular. That part specifically looks really good because of how well she cinched her waist in with this little band that's right there. Yeah, but it has that like abrupt hip that comes down into like a more hourglass shaped silhouette. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoy that. Pink is kind of like a yeah. floral indicator. So I'm glad that someone did florals on here. Um, she also did a very tasteful pattern. It dates the piece because like she's kind of going for like this 50s housewife sort of vibe. Mm -hmm. And it really adds like character to this look. I think this is really cool. I think this is really chic. And I think it makes her look sickening. Everything on this outfit garment fits her. Oh, perfectly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, it reminds me like if there was a movie and you're like stuck in a globe and you were like the housewife, but in the future, like 2088. Yeah. That's kind of what it is. But then a reference back to like 1950s. Yeah, it's like, um, what is it? Retro futurism? That is a big word, <laughs> but I agree. I also absolutely love that the fabric that she used in the belt, the skirt, yeah. and, and the, the gloves, gloves and, and the, the headpiece, and the headpiece and the leotard are all the same color and it's cohesive. It's not too many colors. Very smart. Yeah, very. It's absolutely a two. It's absolutely a two for a two. me as well. This is beautiful. Up next, we have Miss Vinyas Deluxe. Oh. I'm going to bed. I'm <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh! Roller in the deep. Rollers in the... Ah, yes! she has a face, face mask, mask made of glitter. Ah, it's so funny. This is genius. <laughs> She looks like an eavesdropping neighbor. Oh my Completely. God. The one that's like Windexing something you don't have to, but listening to every drama that's happening down the street. It's camp, but it has still elements of fashion in the dress. The way that the kimono of the robe uh -huh. fits her, you can still see her body. I love the trim of the pink that uh -huh. goes down all the way with the bow of the sash. I love that there's pink glitter for her face mask. I love the rollers that goes all the way all the to the way very down. end of her wig. I love the concept. The minute she walked in, that reaction, that's what I'm looking for. And this really shows her personality one and shows that she has a good grasp of like high camp and drag. The wig together with the face mask and the robe completely makes everything. What a good, strong, funny, but oddly like stylish, yeah. Concept. Yeah, the robe is very fashionable. If somebody wanted to wear this, just like to go to Whole Foods, like it's completely cute. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure that when she was just putting on like pink glitter all over her face, the other girls were like, she's going home. But I feel like she's still contoured here. She still put lipstick on. She still has her eyes done. You see the full realization of the look and you're like, I see. I do appreciate too that she contoured her boobs for this outfit. Yeah, because it's, you know, nighttime. She's probably in her lingerie. Mm -hmm. It is a toot for me. Toot for me too. Very, Yay. very, very high toot. Toot toot. Up next, Brigadine. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh. Oh. Pink and black, good combo. Right? Rock and roll. Yeah, very rock and roll. The silhouette is fun, very edgy, very indicative of her personality and her runways that she's been doing this whole season. Mm -hmm. I do really appreciate the gloves that she chose to wear for this because mm -hmm. they're very fun and fashionable. The only thing I hate is the necklace. I really wish that the necklace was either just like a singular black chain or I'm biased, see, I'm wearing a choker mm -hmm. right now. Um, a choker to kind of cut this, or maybe if she had a collar that came down into a harness or something, that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. I will completely 1000% agree with you that that necklace is way too much, too heavy 
for what's happening on the neckline. I wish that it was also just a singular little moment. I was kind of on the fence about the hair paired with everything when it first when she first came out. But the way that it moves with the character of the outfit, I think it really does work. It's like a Barbie girl gone punk. I like the way that it's styled. I love the black with it. I like the black gloves. I appreciate that the black gloves is also patent leather that matches the boots. I love all of this like different color, like ruffles that's happening in the tool. From a fashion point of view, I love a high low. I love how this fits. I love that the volume is just enough. Mm -hmm. And overall, I think that it's a good look and I'm gonna give it a two. I'm gonna give it a two. And finally, we have Eva La Queen. Oh. oh, wow, she looks sickening. Uh -oh. oh my God, she is put together. She's got that um, Chromatica color. Oh yeah. Kind of, mm -hmm. The way that it drapes her makes her look like an evil La Queen. I am always weary about these like metallic corset outfits that I see all the, all time. the time. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. right? But in this case, she added this like silk moment that makes it a little bit more high fashion. Oh yeah. It has a little bit more dimension. I love that the boots matches the gloves. If there's elements of different things, I like for some of them to like really be put together and oh, like yeah. be consistent in some case. I think that the bodice is cute. It fits her body really well. It gives her shape. And I love that it just drops a little below the waist before the silk skirt. Yeah, I love the draping because it adds like a fun element of movement to everything. It makes her look decadent and kind of goddessy. It makes her look kind of lighter than air. That little cape shawl in the back is a very uh, iconic silhouette for decadence and opulence. You can see it on like the Evil Queen. You can see it mm. on like medieval capes and stuff. Her makeup, just that hot pink boom bright moment is really absolutely gorgeous on her face and pairs with the look. I would go without the necklace. It's not needed. And if you were gonna do a necklace and earrings, I would probably do silver because the way that the light hits it, mm. the metal kind of reads more silver than that says gold. I think she could do without it. I think the earrings are just enough. But overall, this is a two. I disagree. I love the necklace, but I agree on the fact that this is a two. Trend alert! Flowy, flowy fabric. Flowy, flowy. Easy breezy. Pinky winky and my stinky. Flowy girl. Look at smart it go. drag. Just <laughs> smart drag. Just blow her. Plug it in and blow. <laughs> That's not flowers. <laughs> Our top two of the week is. Silhouette Venus Deluxe. What no silhouette? Because the, the concept is very high camp. It stands out from everyone else. It looks crazy. And we had a, an amazing reaction when she came out. But silhouette gives you modern fashion. The silhouette is so gorgeous. Fits her so perfect. But you know what? We can just agree to disagree, to disagree. that tonight we're agreeing on two tops, toots. Two top toots. Two top toots. We never have two tops. <laughs> no. Top two of the week for me is Silhouette. And the top two of the week for me is Vinyas Deluxe. The girls did really good this week. Yeah, I love they the had, pink. They all had really good outfits. Even though we booted a couple girls, no one looked especially bad. No, and opinions are just like everyone's got one and sometimes people are and one. And sometimes they're brown. <laughs> so get used to it. Tune in for a brand new episode every Wednesday of Drag Race Philippines. You can watch it everywhere on Wild Presents Plus, except in Canada on Crave. Maraming salamat po! Sige na! Fuck! Ditto. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs>